Well, hey there, gamers. Welcome back to the Board Game Co. channel, and it's Professor Meg here. Today I have a package that I got for myself. It's for Professor Meg stuff, but I just wanted to unbox it. So, no spoiler because it's right in the title, but this is Mythwind. Mythwind is a game that I got to cover. I'm like sitting on my feet right now to be able to be in screen. Um, but Mythwind is a game that I was able to cover, I think, maybe even two years ago. It was a bit ago because of how years work and that we're already in March? We're already in March. Um, so with that, I was able to play Midland and I really enjoyed it. I know that uh, reviews were a bit mixed. For some people, it wasn't their jam, but I absolutely fell in love with it. For me, I was someone that had a great time playing games like Stardew Valley and Animal Crossing, and I really wanted a board game version of that. So with that, we are now going to open the final version, which I get to see for the very first time. I know there have been a couple versions going around. I've seen content from other people, but I haven't seen the final version in person yet. So with that, we are going to unbox Mythwind. I'm super excited. Uh, this is a Professor Meg unboxing, so we have the obligatory, I blocked out my address because I'm a secret girl. I also have my knife, and I have my wine because that's how we do it in the Professor Meg studio. Okay, I'm actually going to move it somewhere safer. Here's hoping the corner of the table is safe. It doesn't feel safe, but that's where it's going to be for now. So, we're going to open this and get rid of the big box as soon as possible because, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm a small person. Um, and this big box is kind of in the way of most things. <sighs> I'm going to knock over that one. But that's okay, because there's not much on the table. Cutting away from myself. Away from myself. Alright. This is a very big box. And it was quite heavy for uh, Professor Meg herself. Let's throw all of the trash over here for someone else to deal with later. By someone else, I mean later Meg. Well, that's not current Meg. Current Meg gets to play with board games. Oh my gosh, there's so much. But I am actually... Okay, can, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're already going off on a tangent. You don't even get to see anything yet. I'm so happy that they use this. I get so much bubble wrap and so much plastic in my packages sometimes. I am so happy every single time I get this recyclable paper. I try to reuse it because I've been moving and also when I send out board games, but this recyclable stuff, thank you. Thank you guys for sending that. Okay, okay, now we're gonna get into the meats and potatoes. Um, I think I can move this off to the side enough. No, I can't, so I'm gonna show you guys what's in here. I mean, I guess you should see how packaged it is anyway because I really appreciate that, but I already pulled out this play mat that's over here. There is a deck of cards on top, and then there is the game itself inside of here. Okay, so not too crazy. I'm so sorry. I might have a, I might cut that out because I just hit the mic. You guys, I just hit the mic with the box. The mic is like right here and I just hit it. And I might cut that out because it might have been super loud. And I just don't think that's nice. That or I'll mute it. So that maybe you just see my, you don't even see my face being shocked because it wasn't there. This box is so big and it spins. It only spins because it's in shrink right now, but look at how big it is. Oh my gosh. I'm very excited. So, as I said, I, I had this sent to me. So thank you to Open Owl Studios for sending this over. I am so happy to have the Myth Drop version. Um, but that being said, I have my own YouTube channel. I don't know if you guys know, it's not something I try to talk about ever. Um, but I have my own YouTube channel and I am going to be streaming some of Mythwind when I'm able to. Um, so I have a ton of travel coming up in March, which we can talk about if we just want to gab. Um, but before I say that, I'll finish my other thought, which was I'm not going to be streaming Mythwind until probably April because I just don't have time. Um, so in March, I will probably stream Final Girl. And there may be something else that I will stream as well, which right now is a secret, but, uh, you know, that might be happening. So, uh, that's that. And with that, let's take a look at Mythwind. Um, so this is the box, which I just unshrunk, but I haven't opened it yet. I'm going to not even open this and take the shrink off of everything so that we can just, like, I'm gonna go back to this camera. We're just going to be uninterrupted, so I'm going to take everything out of the shrink. I'll tell you the real reason I'm doing this. It's because I want to open the playmat. Playmats are one of my favorite things. I love playmats. So, 
that's really why I wanted to not open the game yet because I want to take a look at this playmat. So let's see. Ooh, I love when it has the stitched edging. Stitched edging on a playmat is just, oh, it's just so nice. This is also, oh my, I should let you guys see. This is a double-sided playmat. Um, so this is the overall map. I'm not sure what this part will be used for. Maybe it is just like kind of a background for you. Um, but there's this side, which I believe you play the game on, and oh my gosh, it's so nice. I wonder if you could just play the game on the other side as well, or if it's different modules. Again, I covered this, and I covered it a long time ago, so I remember really enjoying it, and really enjoying different things about it, but I don't really remember everything. Um, and I also have played Stone Saga, which is also by Open Owl Studios, so I know at least, like, a lot of how their mechanics work well together and, and things like that. I mean, they're not anything alike, but they're, you can tell that they're in the same studio. I don't know. That's how I feel about it. So, going into it, let's see the game. I wanted to line this up to be nice and pretty for you guys. Alright, let's take a little wine break. How many times am I going to switch cameras? This should be something in the comments in the calendar. How many sw times do I switch cameras between this? Okay. Now let's open the board game. All right, Myth Wins. So I will actually yet again switch to this camera, but that's because I'll show you how the storage is. Um, you are. This is a game where you are playing and developing more and more and more. It's an ongoing game, but it's not really campaign style because you don't have to go to specific scenarios and things like that. It's more similar to something like a farm building game where you are just ongoing exploring different areas and building up your different town. It is very unique in the board game worlds that it is, it's a very passive system. I don't know if that's the right term. Um, I, you know, because it, it, there are definitely things that you need to do to be able to succeed in this world, but it's a more calming feeling and it's more about what you're able to do with the choices that you have. Um, but I'll show you the other side is also like this, so you're able to, uh, you know, grab different things from it. So on top you have the farmer journal. These are the different characters that you're able to play as. I believe you play as them, yes, I think. Um, again, it was a bit ago, but you have the far farmer journal here, the merchant journal, the crafter journal, and the ranger journal. So you'll be reading these different journals throughout the game, um, and I believe you will unlock different paths depending on what you do. Again, don't take my word for it because it has been a bit. All right, and then next on top, we have the town charter. Um, so you'll also have this with this cute little guy in the front. Uh, it's very interesting in Mythwind that they have some creatures that are super cute, but they also have regular creatures like a horse here. And I always find that's a very, very interesting take when mythological worlds will make creatures and mix them in with real animals that we have. It's always, uh, it, it makes it feel more real, like it could be an old history that happened to us or something like that. So there is your town charter. Here is the map that I believe is on the other side of this map. Um, so there is a map version of it, which I appreciate. I am someone, <laughs> tangent, I really like maps. And I have maps like all over my house that are different maps from different games. And I kind of want to put this up on the wall somewhere since I have the playmat version, I think I might, I think that may happen. Uh, so very cute, there is a map, and then it looks like this is a artwork that we also get, so I may end up putting that up somewhere down the line. Um, and then here you have a bunch of tokens, so uh, you'll be able to see here, these are your player trees that you are dropping all of this into, um, so you would have the farmer and put it in here so you would know, and then you would be able to save all these different things. So. You know, the tokens mean other things that I have yet to learn, um, but that is how you have your different characters, and they have these different trays. So let's go through these. Um, and then, yes, so this tray here, I believe, is for your town, that you save certain things that are within here, um, and I have a, there's a couple boards within here. I'm not exactly sure what that will lead to. We'll see. Um, that I don't, I don't know. Um, but yes, you have all your tiles here, a whole bunch of tokens that we'll end up using, um, throughout the game. 
We have some different velvet bags here. So we have a green one and a red one, a dark red one. All right, let's move these to over here so that I can slide this to over here. So in here, you have a whole bunch of cards. Um, it looks like these are weather cards. There are other decks of cards in here. Uh, something said the winery, so I guess it's places. You also have event decks that are in here. There are requests. Here are some custom die that you are able to use that they have different, I think they're lock symbols and fairies that are on them. So those are very cute. Um, I like the orange and the blue. We stand board game code colors around here, so a very good choice for them using them, but honestly, it's just so appealing. If anyone who knows, like, the color wheel and what colors are supposed to go together, orange and blue are just meant to go together, okay? So, good choice, Mythwind. Um, and then there are some sealed envelopes over here. I can see that they're numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, so I'm not going to open these because they're sealed. They're secret. There's definitely no reason I should open these. I want to open them so badly, which means I guess I'll just have to start playing the game. But last but not least, which I would love to show you, are the miniatures for the game. So because this is the Sundrop expansion, um, these guys are washed a little bit. I'm conflicted. I'm conflicted. Hold on. Hold, please. Um, but you can see, whoop, they're just absolutely beautiful and so detailed. So I'm very, very excited to be playing with these guys. Um, come on, come on. You want to focus? Sorry for the cut, guys. My top camera hates to focus. I'm not sure why, um, but I had to stop to fix the focus. These are the mini trays. Um, and this is Mythwind. Now, I believe a part of the Board Game Co. unboxings are putting everything back into the box as well, but I have more I want to do. I guess I should, I don't know if I should open the event decks. The problem is, is that I don't want to spoil anything for me. Maybe I'll open the weather and show you that. Because I honestly, this is a game that will unfold more and more. I'm hoping that this will give me similar happy vibes that Isla and Something Shiny gave me, um, where I'm going through a solo puzzle and just having a lot of, like, great creatures around me and warm nostalgia. So, in that sense, I really don't want to look at the cards, especially in these event cards. I don't want to look ahead, and I think that is normal for an unboxing to really show you everything, but I don't want to. I don't want to be spoiled. Um... So these, I'm not even sure what they are, but they say accelerated growth. But there are these weather cards, um, which I assume are going to trigger different weather things throughout the game. Um, so I guess I'll probably forget this aspect before I am actually playing the game anyway, but here is some of the weather. I'm sure I'll know the weather. It's the event cards that I'm really worried about touching. I don't want to open the event cards. You can't make me. And there are also these envelopes I refuse to open. You can't make me do it. I don't care. I don't care what your comment is or how mean it is or what it says. I'm not opening my envelope. So I believe that's where I'm going to leave the unboxing um, because I am going to take the plastic off of everything, but I think that's boring to make you watch. But I am excited to play Mythwind. Um, that is basically all. This has been a Mythwind uh, Mist Drop unboxing with the play mat, with the stitched edges, which I think is honestly the best out of all of these. And on top of that, I absolutely love these dice. And I do love the wash that are on these miniatures. I think they're great miniatures in general, but the wash on them is so nice that I really appreciate when companies have that version that, I don't know, I think it just looks better. Anyway, that has been my rambling. Thank you all for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed this ramble because maybe I'll open my mail on here sometimes, maybe. 